Biohaven is a private corporation, but 50% of it is owned by a public corporation called Portage Biotech. Portage trades on the Canadian Exchange and OTC Bulletin Board. Hopefully by next year, Biohaven will be representing here as a publicly traded company as we have five, three to five drugs that should go into a phase three clinical trial, which is the last stage of clinical trial one needs before getting a, uh, what's called an NDA, a new drug application, and you're able to actually put a product on the market. My background is I'm a physician, but I, I've been involved in drug development for about 10 years now. And I've had the good fortune of starting a couple of companies. One of them is called Medivation. And Medivation now has the number one drug in the world for prostate cancer. And the company has gone from $12 billion to about $9 billion right now in a space of 14 years. And I found out from the Daily Mail two weeks ago that it's under siege that Sanofi and AstraZeneca are going to make a hostile bid for the company. And the reason that I, I mention that is because I actually think this one has that same potential. And I don't say that lightly. So what, when I'm looking at a company and to trying to make a decision on how to invest, there's about five boxes I check. So this is just in general, if you're going to invest in biotech, what you should look for. The first and most important one is intellectual property. And the reason is that there's a number of generic companies out there and their R&D lab is their legal department. So all they're trying to figure out is how to get around your patents so they can sell your drug. The second one, is the science, does the science make sense? And you know, is it gonna have a great effect as far as in a pathology? And the third one is the economics. So you've got a nice drug now, will it be able to make money? And then the fourth situation is, is the, can the management team execute on the business plan? And the final one is, do you have the money to execute your business plan? So, this company has got two major focuses. One is neurological diseases. And it's because of this recent knowledge that we have of a system in the brain called the glutamatergic system, which I'll go into in the presentation. And, is there big, and they're gonna be going after significant market opportunities. And by that, I mean unmet clinical needs for large populations of people. So there is no good viable alternative. And then they've got some, recently have just brought on this novel small molecule that I actually think is going to be disruptive in the treatment of oncology if it pans out, but it's very, very early days, but it plays to the strength of our CEO. I'm going to show you that we have a strong intellectual property. As I said, that's the number one th uh, element. And then we've got the leadership team. I apologize for a very complicated slide. I'm going to point out some things. This is the research in this area. It's been discovered in the last 15 years, the glutamatergic system, which is involved in 90% of all the synapses in your brains. First, this drug, Zoloft, you're probably aware of, an antidepressant was developed by the chairman of the board. First papers that showed that the glutamatergic system was involved in depression was done by Rob Berman, and then uh, subsequently anti-anxiety effect was uh, developed by Dr. Korich. Interestingly, our CEO is Dr. Korch, our scientific officer is Dr. Berman, and as I said, our chairman is Dr. Dugan. And why this is important is they understand the science as well as anybody in the world. I would say of the top eight people in the world on the glutamatergic system, I would say five are involved with this company. Not only are they scientists, because that can be a detriment, but they actually worked at Bristol Myers, ran their neuropsych department. And Vlad was not only involved in the development of treatment-resistant depression, which is one of our areas, Abilify, which is not a very good drug, but it's the only thing available currently. He's also involved in Opdivido and Uruvoy, which are actually causing cures in cancer. So we have a very knowledgeable team. Um, board's a little dodgy, but uh, that would be me and a couple of other good people. Um, he's current head of uh, chairman of Yale's uh, psychiatry, vice chairman of Harvard Psychiatry, uh, also involved in Yale, and this gentleman was head of the FDA Psychiatry. So we have a, a, just a tremendous team to exploit this opportunity. This is a talking how diverse the glutamatergic system is in your body. And, it's, and our job is to balance it. At this company, we're trying to balance the glutamatergic system so that we can redirect these different pathologies. And you can see there, there are a lot. Happily, while we've had the company for two years, other people have shown that this, th this uh, glutamatergic system is involved in all of these diseases. And we think we have a better product for them. And I'll sh hopefully be able to demonstrate that. Big, big markets. 
neurodegenerative cancer, depression, anxiety, huge market opportunities, millions of people globally. This slide, I apologize for, again, I apologize, very convoluted. Two things are important here, is there's two ways to affect glutamate, transporters and receptors. Most people who are competing against us are going after the receptors. As I said, I think we have five of the top eight people. They're convinced that the transporter is really the key, although we do have effect in the receptors. And all we're trying to do is get proof of concept, and we make a lot of money for investors, either through Biohaven or through Portage, which shares you can buy. I think it has the potential in two to three years to be a company selling a drug worth a billion dollars, which would be a multiple of that as far as valuation. This is, uh, since we've got limited time, fundamentally, if you're just trying to figure out the drug, high, high risk. If you're getting down to the phase three, the final one before submission, the risk is much lower. All of our products are going into a phase three clinical trial, so we're a very late stage company. We're doing it a financing right now with Callan, valuation about 125 million. I fundamentally think we should be worth it significantly more, because uh, most phase three drugs are worth three to 500 million. And we should be commercializing our early products as early as 2017, which would be revenue of 50 to $70 million for ALS. So that's ALS and ataxia. Ataxia is a terrible pediatric disease. It's got a very simple study, could be on the market in 2017, which would be fantastic. The disease is called Friedrich's ataxia, it attracts ch children. These are huge markets, big opportunities, and we'll enter those clinical trials this year as well with proprietary drugs. We've got the two drugs. Uh, this one is already ready to go. This one we're filing an IND for in the next two weeks. And this one we have 20 years of patent life. The most important element on this slide is the addressable market. 25,000 patients for the ataxia that attacks children, 300,000 people for OCD, um, bipolar, again, huge, four, four to five million people in America alone. I apologize for the American-centric, but uh, this was just presented in the US recently. Um, and then general anxiety, depression. If you know people who are depressed, one out of every three people you know is treatment resistant. And what treatment resistant means is there is no treat, the treatments are either ele electric convulsive shock therapy or antipsychotics. This happens to work, we know, at Yale in one out of three patients. So great opportunity to help a group that are really at, at the end of a rope and are looking to a very black hole. Again, you can see some of the intellectual property, and we have a wide group of it. And as I said, 20 years of patent life on our proprietary drugs. Um, we've been very, considering we've been around for two years and we have three drugs in, going into phase three clinical trials, quite extraordinary, I think. Um, and a great opportunity. So I think that going through the boxes, intellectual property, 20 years, uh, science makes an enormous amount of sense. We've got the top people in the world, and not only that, when they, three of them came over to our SAB, again, indictment that we do have the right sort of uh, indication. And as far as the market size, it's probably one of the biggest, unfortunately, in the world with depression and psychiatric disorders. Uh, and immuno-oncology, you all know how large that area is. And then the last one, the last two are management and money. We're in the midst of raising money. There's a way to play this through Portage Biotech. I think Biohaven will be public within the year. And, um, and I think the management team is one of the best in the world for, for this particular disease. It was interesting to me with my previous one, Medivation, which went through, um, it, which is now around eight, and eight to $10 billion. That CEO had people calling him out of the blue because he's that well recognized. This management team has big pharma calling them, uh, universities call them with great opportunities. So I, as an opportunity, I think it, it represents a great situation for investors. And I probably don't have time for questions. Uh, anyway, I can, I'll be out back if anybody has any questions. Thank you very much for your time.